everyone to the new and improved Harvest Festival. <laughs> Angus and Damon have prepared some spooky surprises for you all, so make sure to stop by their tables. I wanted to make pumpkin pie for the Harvest Festival, but I just didn't have time this year. I thought Gloria was a bit mad to suggest the children help us carve the pumpkins, but we managed, and we didn't have to call Amira for bandages even once. Hey, Tara, get your caramel apples while they're hot. Uh, but seriously, let them cool for a sec or you'll burn the roof of your mouth. Damon put something special in that new pumpkin ale of his, didn't he? Mom's been even more sentimental today than usual. I used to call Sebastian my little pumpkin, and now he's big enough to help carry them all into town for the Harvest Festival. I try not to get down about how much time I missed, but oh, it's hard sometimes. Natalia asked if she could help out with some fall ranch chores, and I said, sure, let's roll in the hay. <laughs> she giggled too. What's so funny about... Oh, up. I meant roll up. Hey, you gotta try Damon's new pumpkin ale. You know who I thought of today? My teacher, Layla. I called her up and she sent me a picture of her little grommets riding some white water. Still can't believe Lay's a mom. I heard your coven made food offerings for those who have passed on tonight. We have a similar tradition in my family. It's called obong, but it's held earlier in the year when it's still summer. We cook our ancestors their favorite foods and light lanterns to help their spirits find their way home. Funny how cultures separated by oceans found such similar ways to honor their dead. Like we were all tuned to the same radio signal. Anyway, I'll keep Hazel in my thoughts tonight. Thanks, Kim. Oh, I love the atmosphere of the Harvest Festival the best. It's so...
cozy. Of course, it would be even cozier with a special someone. Well, maybe next year. My neighbors across the hall growing up were from Mexico. They celebrated Dia de los Muertos every year. I was always a bit jealous, but our coven's fall ritual seems like it's in a similar spirit, no? Spirit? Huh. I see what you did there, Francis. Not on purpose. <laughs> I leave the punning to my beloved. Seriously. I've been trying to cut back on the sauce, but I just had to try Damon's new brew. Did I ever tell you about the time when Otto tried to bob for apples and chipped his front teeth on the barrel? No. Ouch! Oh, yeah. He's got those porcelain veneers. He banned bobbing for apples as soon as he became mayor. look great, Juliet. Oh, thanks. Scooping out pumpkin guts is, like, oddly soothing. Oh, and just a heads up, if Emmy or Finn offer you a caramel apple, don't eat it. Trust me. Emmy and Finn brought me one of Angus's caramel apples. Isn't that nice? Maybe Parker has encouraged them to channel their energy in more constructive ways. Hey, Tara. I thought I'd go hunt some truffles on my own. You know, practice self-reliance on my way up the path. So I got on my knees and started digging around the base of a tree that looked like it might be promising. But then this squirrel started throwing hazelnuts at my head. So have you had better luck, perhaps? Not yet, but I'll let you know. Hey, Tara. You know what to wear to keep warm while clearing your plots? No. What? A harvest. How long have you been waiting to tell that joke? All day. But you're just the only one besides me who actually harvests anything around here. Not a fan of these jack-o'-lanterns. Doesn't seem safe, having all these little flames everywhere. Don't worry, Shelby. Gloria made sure it was safe. Oh, I know nothing's gonna happen. But it's unsettling, all the same. Hey, Sarah! Trick or treat! Yeah, so what's it gonna be, Tara? <sighs> Sorry, kids. I didn't make any candy in time. That's too bad. Here! Angus gave us an extra caramel apple. You should have it. Aw, that's so sweet of you two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are you guys up to? Oh, nothing. Nothing! <laughs> uh, uh, this isn't an apple. It's an onion. Gross! Ugh. Mom made me carry down all the pumpkins for the Harvest Festival. Isn't child labor, like, illegal in this country? Have you tried Damon's new pumpkin ale recipe? I don't know what he changed, but it's so good this year. Reminds me of this time when Lena and I were first dating, and we went apple picking. Of course, she decided she wanted this pristine one on a top branch, so I climbed up to get it, and the branch broke, and I fell flat on my back. <laughs> I thought she would laugh, but she didn't. Got her that apple, too. Hey, Tara, 
The Charm Pumpkin Ale is a hit. Thanks for helping out. I went by Marty's and saw the new alpacas. They're my favorite. I mean, I like spending time with Marty anyway, but cute little alpaca buddies don't hurt. I hope Sebastian understands that even if he does choose to leave Fairhaven, it doesn't mean he has to stay away forever. Even I went to study in the city for a time, and that was when I was only a few years older than Sebastian is now. But when you're a teen, every decision feels so paramount, so irreversible. I just hope he knows that no matter the direction he chooses to go, we'll always be there for him. Hi, Keeper. Do you think it's time to begin our fall ritual? Yes, I'm ready. Good. Let's meet the others at the cemetery. If you've brought a gift for someone beyond the veil, please offer it now. Excuse me, we hate to intrude, but we gather that you pay it your respects to those who have passed on, is that right? Yes, this is the time of year when they are closest to us. Can we join? It would... it would really mean a lot. Of course, you're welcome. Here, come stand by me, Sophia. I'm not worth much in the kitchen, but I made some chowder. It was my Helena's favorite. Helena and I have that in common. And this is for Giacomo. Some lasagna. I want him to know... I haven't forgotten him. Giacomo is my best friend. Wherever he is now, he knows you'll always remember him, Sophia. And this... Well, most everyone in my family liked this too, except my cousin, but he's still alive up in the Yukon. We're ready to begin now. We till the earth and gather the harvest at last, and with its bounty we honor those who have passed. We seek their wisdom here as night does fall, and hope they'll journey home and heed our call. Whoa. Ah. Look! This is amazing! It sure is. Our ritual is complete for this year. Thank you all for coming tonight. Yeah.